Okay, guys, so um, today I'm gonna show you the unboxing video of the 1 to 200 scale Herpa C5 Super Galaxy. Um, well, I just got this model this afternoon, and uh, yeah, it looks quite impressive here. It is a very big box, larger than any other of the um, well, boxes that I have, and uh, well, last week I showed you guys one of the uh, Antonov 225 model I have. Okay, so still the Antonov looks bigger than the C5's box, but uh, that's probably not a surprise because, well, Antonov 225 is the largest plane ever built. So um, if we, you know, um, switch the angle a little bit, we can see that the Antonov 225 is um, still larger than the box of the C5. Okay, mm, now let's open the box to see how, um, you know, this C5 Super Galaxy is. Okay, um, now there's an inner box. Um, well, usually there is a uh, plastic inlay, but uh, well, the inside box of the C5 is made of um, cardboard paper. Okay, so um, if we open the box, it's, uh, well, the model here is sealed in uh, black foam. Looks, it's quite, quite, quite safe, I would say. Um, a lot of the uh, Herpa models are usually sealed in uh, plastic inlay, but uh, this one's in the uh, black foam, and I'm quite curious to see. Okay, okay, all right. So here's the uh, first layer of the box. I just unlayered the uh, first piece of foam and we can see the tail of the C5, right? Here's the tail of the C5. Um, here's also a stand of the model. Hmm. Okay. Yeah, this one looks quite similar to the stand of the uh, Herpa Antonov 225. Okay, here's the stand. All right. So, here to stand, and uh, now we can take a look at a model here. Um, well, let me take out this another piece of foam. So it's quite interesting. Um, you can see that the, the foam is actually um, made into the shape of the plane, so we can you know, quite easily take the model out or uh, put it back into the box without you know, um, having to, um, you know, um, sort of sort of organize the um, foam too much and uh, now there's a second um, layer of um, foam All right okay if we take this out we put it here now we can see the uh, galaxy it's the super galaxy c5 here to give you guys an impression of how big this plane is um, okay so uh, last week I showed you guys this is a T74, Soviet Russian T74 tank, 1 to 200 scale. So if we place it next to the uh, C5 Super Galaxy, you can um, tell how big this plane is. Actually, um, the plane can probably take several of these tanks inside. Okay. Uh, yeah, now let's try to take this model out, this super baby. Okay. Um, but Herpa, you know, um, the Herpa uses plastic pieces to, to protect the paint on the plane. You can see um, the cockpit area and also under the wings, there are these plastic pieces of paper. Okay, so um, now it's time to take it out. All right. Okay, let me see, uh, how, do I, how do I take this motor out without hurt, hurting the details? Okay, probably here. Okay, let me start from the tail of the model. It feels feels heavy, actually. I mean, this model is made from uh, resin or plastic, but it feels quite heavy. I think it's probably four to five pounds. Um, much heavier than I previously expected. We can take a look at a detail here. Uh, yeah, it's a uh, United States Air Force, Spirit of Oak Glory. Um, yeah, so here you can see the uh, Super Galaxy, right? And, uh, well, um, this Super Galaxy is stationed at the uh, Dover Air Force Base. Um, here's the landing gear. Uh, it's all metal. It's a lot of details. Actually, I like it. Okay. 
Uh, yeah. Wow, it's a, it's a big plane, and uh, there's a lot of details on it. I like it very much. Okay. Um, so if we take this plane out of the box, we put it on a desk here. Well, you guys can, um, yeah, probably take a look at the details on the plane. Okay. Um, could we zoom in a little bit? Yeah. I'm not sure whether this is some kind of um, frame or antenna. Um, so if anyone knows what it is, um, well, uh, please tell me. And uh, I'm pretty sure this is an antenna. This is also, um, yeah. Actually, it doesn't feel like um, the plane is plastic. I, I almost feel like it is made of metal. So now let's put this plane, uh, okay, before we put it on the stand, we can probably, you know, do a comparison between the Ananoff 225. Oh, sorry. Okay, so here's the Ananoff 225, and uh, here's the, uh, well, Super Galaxy. Can we take a, uh, you know, um, yeah, could you, could you put the camera here so we can take a, uh, yeah, so you guys can tell that the, um, well, the, the Ananoff 225 is still um, larger than the C5 Galaxy, but uh, it's already very big. These two giants, so if we place them next to each other, um, yeah, wow, it's really impressive how big these planes are. I don't even think I can put a plane in my showcase. Okay, so the next step is to see how we can put it into the stand. Okay, um, there is a hole here, and uh, ta-da! Okay. So, wow, I think, yeah, it's a good show-off piece if you put it on your desk or um, if you have a big showcase, um, you can probably put it in. Okay. It's a very impressive model. A lot of details and, uh, yeah. I think it goes well with other, I mean, bigger planes say the Ananoff 225 or the uh, European A400 or other cargo planes. It's very nice. So um, I think this model was just released. There's not too much of availability um, right now, but uh, um, I heard there is going to be more available uh, later in April or, or May. So um, yeah, if you are interested in this model, you can probably find um, availability on the internet. Okay, so that's our unboxing video of the latest Super Galaxy. I hope you guys like it. See you guys next time.